Imagine the routine of a seemingly ordinary day turned into a maritime nightmare. Welcome to the Maritime Safety Talk channel. On August 29th, 2022, the OS-35 bulk carrier completed its bunker operation. It set sail for its next destination, unaware that disaster awaited just around the corner. As the massive vessel maneuvered through the Bay of Gibraltar, it collided with the LNG carrier Adam LNG, unleashing a chain of tragic events. The collision was catastrophic. A gaping 10-meter gash was torn into the side of the OS-35, causing water to rush into the ship alarmingly. The crew faced a heart-wrenching decision. Allow the vessel to sink in deep waters or ground it in shallower, more accessible waters. In a desperate bid to prevent a total loss and minimize potential casualties, they ground the ship. Grounding the OS-35 was a move to avert an even greater catastrophe, but the tragedy didn't end there. With the ship partially submerged, the risk of an environmental disaster loomed large. Oil and fuel began to seep from the vessel, threatening to pollute the pristine Bay of Gibraltar. The situation prompted an urgent, high-stakes salvage operation to contain the spill and recover the ship. The sinking of the OS-35 is more than just a story of a maritime accident. It's a powerful lesson in the fragility of human decisions and environmental safety. The dramatic events of August 29, 2022 show how quickly a routine voyage can turn into a life and death struggle. As we reflect on the tragedy and the extraordinary efforts to contain it, we're reminded of the urgent need for vigilance and preparedness in maritime operations. Thank you for watching this deep dive into the OS-35 disaster. If you found this story compelling and want more insights into maritime events, please like, comment, and subscribe to Maritime Safety Talk. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a new episode. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.